President Trump has sought ways to discredit special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation for months, but his hands might be tied as the veteran lawman has already charged four people. Trump's potential firing of Mueller, which is drawing support from some conservatives, could create a situation similar or worse to the blowout of Watergate that became known as the Saturday Night Massacre, experts said. It would be incredibly self-destructive for Trump to fire Mueller, but that doesn't mean he won't do it, said Ken Hughes, a research specialist at the University of Virginia's Miller Center. Mueller is investigating whether members of the president's campaign colluded with Moscow to influence the election. Ex-campaign chair Paul Manafit, Deputy Rick Gates, campaign foreign policy advisor George Papadopoulos and former national security advisor Michael Flynn have all been indicted, but none of the charges stem from campaign activity. Firing Mueller would just be a clear case of obstruction of justice, said Hughes, whose book Chasing Shadows focuses on Richard Nixon and Watergate. Trump attorney Ty Cobb tamped down those suggestions Monday, saying Mueller's firing WASNT in the cards. Evan Vuciap, as the president has repeatedly said for several months, there is no consideration to firing Mr. Mueller, he told the Daily News. Were the president to theoretically toss Mueller, experts said, it would harken back to the so-called Saturday Night Massacre, when Nixon fired Watergate special prosecutor Archibald Cox in 1973. Cox had been seeking White House tapes suspected of capturing Nixon discussing a cover-up. Attorney General Elliot Richardson and his deputy resigned as a result of the firing. Although Mueller is a special counsel and Cox was special prosecutor, Hughes said, both have similar powers and the firing would have the same sort of blowback. Mueller's firing would be a constitutional crisis. And I don't know how it would play out, Hughes continued. Potentially firing Mueller would be even worse because history has already condemned a similar action by Nixon, said University of New Hampshire law professor Seth Abramson, a vocal Trump critic. Actually firing Mueller would be hard to do, he said, because the former FBI director was appointed by Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein after his boss, Jeff Sessions, recused himself. Were Trump to finally get someone to axe Mueller, the ramifications would be catastrophic. Firing Mueller is Trump's quickest path to impeachment, certainly, Abramson said in an email. Certain powerful Republicans in D.C have even implied as much though there's no sign Mr. Trump is listening to anyone, on this score, but a few fringe voices on the right. Hughes said public sentiment toward impeachment likewise changed once Nixon fired Cox. The House Judiciary Committee cited the firing as one of its articles of impeachment in 1974. Trump's opponents are worried about a repeat of the pivotal firing, which prompted Nixon's eventual resignation before the entire House could fire him. Sen. Richard Blumenthal DCT has floated legislation to protect Mueller from getting fired, which he said has bipartisan support. These threats and intimidations raise the specter of political interference in this investigation much like the Saturday Night Massacre and I'm going to press the Judiciary Committee to move forward with legislation that will protect the special counsel, Blumenthal told MSNBC's Morning Joe on Monday. The Connecticut Democrat, who's clashed with the president before, said he and the bill's co-sponsors have no choice but to move forward with this legislation amid Trump's tough talk about the Mueller probe. Sen. Lindsey Graham R.S.C. previously introduced a bill to protect the special counsel, but put the brakes on it because he saw no threat from the White House. I don't feel an urgent need to pass that law until you show me a reason, Mr. Mueller's in jeopardy, Graham told Politico in late October, after Manafit and Gates were indicted on charges stemming from business dealings before they joined the campaign. I don't think anybody in the right mind in the White House would think about replacing Mr. Mueller. News that an FBI agent was removed from the probe earlier this year has added to the speculation. The agent, Peter Strzok, was a veteran counterintelligence operative caught sending anti-Trump text messages to a woman in the Justice Department with whom he was having an affair, according to reports. Rep. Devin Nunes, chair of the House Intelligence Committee, reportedly threatened to charge the DOJ with contempt of Congress for not disclosing in past months why Strzok was reassigned. Hughes, the Watergate expert, doesn't believe the Strzok news will be enough for Trump to fire Mueller but either way, Trump was ready with a reaction, suggesting on Twitter Sunday that the deck was stacked against him in the Russia investigation. 
Report ANTITRUMPFBI agent LED Clinton email probe Now it all starts to make sense Trump tweeted Sunday about the same time Fox News ran a similar banner on its screen. A day later, Trump lambasted investigators over Michael Flynn's guilty plea for lying to the FBI about his talks with Russia's ambassador to the U.S. He accused federal investigators of persecuting Flynn who is now cooperating with Mueller's probe while letting an investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails pass. She lied many times. Nothing happened for her, he told reporters before departing for Utah. Flynn lied and it's like they ruined his life. Mueller's probe has been criticized for reportedly hiring lawyers who donated to Clinton's campaign. J. Scott Applewhite App Hughes noted that Mueller was appointed to several positions by Republican presidents and was himself a member of the GOP. Prosecutors are not required to be political virgins, he said. It would be very difficult to find prosecutors at any level of government in the United States who don't have opinions about elections and about candidates.